Hello everyone. Today we are going to look at how to create uh, the walk cycle uh, in Blender. So in the previous class we did the rigging and now we'll look at creating a very simple and very quick walk cycle. So in Blender uh, I will add that skin color a little bit. And we go to pose mode by selecting the controls. By the way, uh, if you want to know how I modeled and rigged this uh, legs, you can uh, look at the links in the description for those tutorials. So we are going to use the timeline. We'll turn on the auto keyframe button. We are going to use 40 frames. So we'll go to frame number 40 and zoom in here so what we do is we select all the keyframes and we'll start from zero so we'll hit the i key and set location and rotation and I for location and rotation okay so what we need to do is we need to create the extreme poses so the character first thing is the character he comes down and then one leg goes in the back and one leg goes in the front so we can say like say one here and minus one here and then this one rotates up so 0.25 and this one rotates say 0.25 okay and then maybe this can be a little, little more maybe 1.2 or the this can be minus 0.2 okay all right so this is our extreme and then what we'll do is we'll select everything and these knee rolls better to be outside i'll select all these shift d and bring it back so we have the same keyframe at the beginning and at the end. Now what we need is in the middle, we want to change this. So we simply go to Shift, Control, V. Okay, we'll control C this and Shift, Control, V. And it simply creates a mirror keyframe. And we already have a walk cycle now what we'll do is at frame number 10 this leg which is coming back will have zeroed out these two control and then our guy will go back to original maybe slightly down Okay, and then this is the passing pose. So again, we will zero these out. Move this up and rotate it down. Okay, so we create a passing pose. Then again, we select everything, hit I and say location and rotation and go to frame 30 control c and shift control v and then now we shift it now we have a walk cycle and then you can further keep editing this 
to get the results you want for example when this guy leg is in the front the hip has to move in the front so we can add like a point to become zero here when it goes back it becomes minus point two. and point two. And now we get uh, the hip rotation okay uh, You can see the hip is moving up and down. If you want, we can also add a sideways rotation. When this is up, because the leg goes up, you can add a slight rotation here. Point two. Then we'll go minus point two. Maybe it is too much. Let's see how it goes. Then we can hide the armature and see if that looks good. Okay, so for rendering what I did was uh, go to object mode, turn the auto key off, add mesh cylinder, depth is 0.2, the one key to go in the front view and move it down, add a bevel modifier. Add some segments and add a subdivision modifier so it looks smooth. And then we can scale it to make it big. Okay, or maybe four. Then we will add a new material. I'll add a slight color to it and make it darker. Okay, now camera setup view lock camera, zoom in there, go down a little bit like this. Rendering will use cycles 32 denoise. 32 for rendering also render output 1280 by 720 40 frames save it as a where do you want to save it so rigging legs to video Save it as FFmpeg encoding FFmpeg4 and we will add sky okay sun intensity point two Point two just move it slightly. 
we have a light in the scene we'll delete it then we will work with the sun elevation so the shadow comes within the cylinder then we we'll rotate to decide where the shadow should be can increase the dust to soften the shadow and play with these properties to see what looks nice that's about it go to render render image That horizon, I don't think this helps. Can increase the sun size to soften the shadow. And then the last thing you can do is turn motion blur on and go to render and render animation. That's about it. Thank you very much.